Hi everyone, this is a short instructional video introducing a free virtual learning environment called a Modo and how it can be used in the classroom. Your first question is probably what is a Modo? A Modo is a social learning network for students and teachers. A Modo is unique in the way it combines features of Facebook, Twitter, and Blogger into one educational platform. Educators can organize students into groups by class, subject, unit, or small group where students can engage and share digital media such as images, videos, web links, documents, presentations, notes, and can also engage in online discussions. Teachers can also post polls, quizzes, and assignments. They can also set reminders for upcoming due dates, tests, quizzes, or events, and can be posted in the calendar and be set as an alert. Teachers can also track student progress and update student marks and can interact with other, other educators using a model. Let's get started. This is the homepage for a model. To create your online classroom, you will first have to sign in or create an account. It is very easy and it's free. Just type in your full name, email, and create a password. Students will also have to create an account. It does not require a email address. They just have to add in the group code, create a username and a password, and they are ready to go. Once you log on, you can see that the interface is similar to that of the main page of Facebook. The content screen is where you can write posts for others to view and where you can view other users' posts. The most recent posts will appear on top. You can also choose a filter for your content screen to narrow the information that appears on your screen. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to set the filter to buy me. But as an educator, it would be beneficial to set the filter to buy students to be able to track your students' activities. Begin by creating groups. Groups can be organized by class groups, by subject, units, or even projects. Whatever way teachers want to organize their students, create a group name. Teachers can also select the grade or the subject area. Once the group is created, you will be given a group code. Provide this code to your students so that they can join the group. Groups can also be organized into smaller groups. For the purpose of this video, we will take a closer look on our grade 6 language arts group. I've created a fictional class that are beginning literacy circle group. I will use this as an example to show you some of the features and ways that teachers and students can use a model. One of the more common features teachers and students can use a model is to post messages to the content screen using the note option on the top toolbar. Here I wrote an introductory note to my grade 6 language arts class introducing the group and how it can be used for their learning. Students and other educators can reply to the post comments to the post by clicking on the reply button. Messages can be anything one wishes to communicate with one another. Instead of just posting the comments in a regular message post, teachers can post the comments that I have done here. You can write the assignment description and choose a due date. You can also view how many students have sent in the assignment. To post an assignment, teachers must first select the group in which the assignment corresponds to. Then select the assignment tab located at the top of the group page. Assignments can be uploaded as a document, a web link, or teachers can just describe the assignment and set a due date. Teachers can also choose who the assignment is sent to. It can be sent to one group, many groups, specific students, and also other teachers. There is also the option to schedule a message so that assignments can be pre-written and assigned to students at a specified date and time decided upon by the teacher. Another great feature of Enmodo is the polls option. Teachers can post polls asking questions. They are helpful in receiving feedback from students. Through polls, students have the ability to vote and have a say in their education. To create a poll, the tab is also located at the top of the group page. Click on the poll option 
and a message box will appear where you can write in the question. You then write in the possible answer you would like the student to choose. At first, there are only two question box answer boxes where you can select Add Answers to choose as many answers as you would like students to pull on. Once students begin voting, the results will appear in the form of a bar graph. Teachers can also share digital media such as videos with their students. Videos can enhance and support a lesson and increase students' understanding by providing a visual, visual and audio representation of content related to the lesson. Teachers can also view which students have viewed the video by clicking the activity history. Uploading a video is quite simple. Using the note option, teachers can either upload a link as a file or share an internet link of the video. Then providing a description in the notes section if needed. Alerts are a good way for teachers to remind students of upcoming due dates, tests, quizzes, or assignments. This is an alert I created for my class. Alert no notifications will remain on the student homepage until they choose to remove it. To create an alert, also use the top alert tab button and simply type in your message you'd like to send out to your student. You can also choose which students, which groups, or teachers you'd like to send your alert message out to. As you can probably already notice, a model has created many useful features for teachers and students to use. Teachers can also create quizzes that can be used for evaluation of students' learning. They can be created by selecting the top tab of the group label quizzes. Once selected, the quiz creator will appear. The quizzes can be given a title and can also be given a time limit for the students to complete. Teachers can create quizzes with as many questions as they would like by selecting Add Questions. They can also choose the types of questions. There is either multiple choice, true, false, short answer, fill in the blank, or matching. Questions can also be assigned points. This can be used to mark student work and choose the grade value. Teachers can also track student progress by posting students' grades of their completed assignments, quizzes, tests, and activities. Students are also able to view their grades. This is a great way to keep students and parents updated on student learning progress. At the moment, I don't have any numbers added to this group, but once student data is, in, is added into this page, it will look more like a grade book. Teachers can also award student status for various purposes, such as being a good citizen, asking a good question, being a hard worker, homework helper, participant, perfect attendance, student of the month, and star performer. This is an excellent way to keep students motivated in their education and give them something to look forward to. Teachers can also join subject-based communities to interact, share, and gain ideas and advice with educators around the world. There is also an app option where apps can be downloaded to enhance student learning and provide additional support. Apps are also organized by subject. There are multiple options and students all have access to these apps. Well, that is all for the web tutorial of Enmodo. Overall, Enmodo is a fantastic tool for combining technology and education. It's a way for teachers, students, and parents to communicate and share information digitally. Enmodo also allows teachers to accentuate learning instruction, to receive and give feedback from and for students, and it creates a learning environment that fosters 21st century learning. I hope this video has helped you to better understand how Enmodo can be used in your classrooms.